the president, again, uh, is trying to masquerade his ineffective response to Puerto Rico and, again, lie about the money that Puerto Rico has been receiving. And that is true. Puerto Rico has only—I um, I believe that it has been close to $40 billion that has been obligated, but only to risk up to maybe a month ago, Puerto Rico wasn't able to get the money that was appropriated. I believe that only close to $11 billion has been uh, made, has made his, its way to Puerto Rico. So the $90 billion that the president made reference to is the estimate that has been put together um, by insurance company and the government of Puerto Rico about the damages that Puerto Rico suffered through Maria and uh, Hurricane Irma. So, Again, he doesn't have uh, the facts right, and he comes to Congress. It's just alarming for the president of the United States to come to the Senate and target assistance to the most vulnerable American citizens in Puerto Rico. It is shameful, and he cannot get away for, uh, with this. I blame the Republican leadership. I blame Rick Scott, the senator from Florida, and Marco Rubio for not standing up for the American citizens in Puerto Rico. They said that they will be the senators uh, representing the interests of Puerto Rico. They lack the spine to stand up to the president of the United States and call out his lies. When we talk about almost 3,000 lives that were um, that, that, that die. Uh, that were lost uh, during Hurricane Irma, many of them happened after, in the aftermath of Maria because of the lack of um, power in Puerto Rico. So, in order to rebuild the economy, in order to make sure that, mo no, uh, that, pe that people's lives are protected, we need to restore the power grid. And so, for the president to compare oranges to the lives of Puerto Rico shows you that he doesn't value the lives of the people in Puerto Rico. For him, brown people are not deserving of our commitment of the federal government to show up and assist and provide the resources. For him, to question the $600 million in food assistance is shameful. 65 percent of the children in Puerto Rico lives in poverty. It, and, by the way, Puerto Rico, like any other state, uh, were able to, was able to receive uh, food assistance like any other state, until 1984. So this is not something that is really uh, out of the blue. That was the reality of Puerto Rico, and that is what I intend to do by introducing legislation that will restore the ability of Puerto Rico to compete for federal nutrition assistance like any other state, and for that matter, to all the territories. After all, they are American citizens. Congresswoman, I wanted to go to Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rosselló, speaking on CNN, after Trump told Republican lawmakers Puerto Rico has received too much aid since Hurricane Maria. Uh, this is Governor Rosselló speaking to CNN's Jim Acosta. Does it feel that way sometimes, that you're dealing with a bully? If, if the bully gets uh, close, uh, I'll punch the bully in the mouth. I'll punch the bully in the mouth, Rosseo said. In response, Trump told reporters, I've taken better care of Puerto Rico than anyone ever. President Trump has still not acknowledged that more than 3,000 people died in Puerto Rico after the hurricane. Is that right, Congressmember Velasquez, that he has not admitted uh, this latest, the latest figures, which could be actually more than 4,000? That is more troubling is the fact that he instructed Milk, um, Mike Mulvaney and Secretary Carson, and this is uh, information that was provided to The Washington Post by a deputy assistant, that the president wanted to make it difficult for any single dollar to go to Puerto Rico, that instead it should go to Texas. A again, 
this president is cruel when he doesn't recognize that under our watch, 3,000 lives were lost. But that is not enough, and he continues to be a bully, and he continues to lie. It's it, it just shameful. It's cruel. It's heartless. He has no empathy for children who could die because we, the richest country in the world, is incapable of doing what is right for American citizens in Puerto Rico.